Infosys is India's most influential IT services company. Prashant Nair, my colleague, caught up with uh, the CEO of Infosys and asked him about the recent comments on protectionism from the U.S. Now, the CEO of Infosys, which earns about 60% of revenues from the U.S. market, seems to say that uh, there is some element of inconsistency in regulation. Globalization is a phenomenon which has been here for a long time and I clearly believe that that will continue because if you look at the contribution it has done to all over the world, developed world as well as developing world, it has allowed quality of life to go up, it has opened new markets, right? So if you look at uh, the impact of globalization on the emerging markets, it has allowed new emerging markets to be created, it has allowed talent from across the globe to be liber liberated. It is allowed now we're innovation about, to be created. He's talking, I mean, he's probably used the strongest words yes, uh, yet to sort of talk about protectionism. Uh, he, uh, he's saying that, uh, I mean, for companies who create jobs on site in the U.S., I mean, we're going to seriously incentivize those companies and vice versa. See, trade barriers, any kind of trade barriers let, are let going start, to be let, detrimental let me ask to business. You, is it, do you think this is just rhetoric? It's an election year? Or, I mean, this could actually uh, mean something uh, coming out of it? So let me let me go back to my answer because any kind of trade barrier creation will be determined to the business environment. And if you look at today's world, this is the time when we need to create employment. This is the time when we need to take the world forward. This is the time when we need to create wealth to uh, create quality of life. So my uh, clear belief is that any kind of trade barrier will be detrimental to the business environment. And you would consider something like tax, I mean changes to the tax code, etc., as uh, trade barriers. Uh, in that sense, right? See, um, trade barriers can involve uh, any kind of this incentive. It can also involve uh, involve um, regulatory changes, which can affect movement of people. But you know, when we look at our own business, we see that we are actually hiring people all over the world. We are hiring thousand people in US. We are hiring five hundred people in Europe. So we are hiring globally, and which is very much in line with our strategic direction. How do you? I mean, uh, okay, globalization is inevitable, but in times of crisis. Uh, do you think protectionism, to some extent, is also inevitable? I mean, governments will do that to to protect their own turf, to protect their own territory, uh, and bring jobs uh, uh, jobs back. Uh, and we're talking about the U.S. here. See, uh, we live in a volatile world. There is uh, economic um, instability. There is um, currency volatility, and that, of course, will lead to some amount of regulatory volatility. And that's what you're talking about. You know, it is uh, when when you have volatility in the environment, when there is instability you will end up seeing some amount of regulatory volatility. Mm -hmm. But, you know, businesses uh, really, uh, you know, have gone through ups and downs. You know, we have gone through uh, the downturn in 2003, we have gone through the downturn in 2008. We have learned from all of these things and we have learned to manage through some of this. It will be challenging, but it is manageable. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis and much more. Download free ndtv.com slash apps.